I might be already been on it. Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> like it's chilling. Like it, that, that's how it came. That, yeah, that's why. So this is a uh, day two of the mayhem. Uh, day two. Yeah, day I two. I wasn't gonna be able to find it, so I just ordered the sports to treatment. Yeah, he got the treatment kit. I know people on YouTube have been saying like he just needs that treatment kit. Now, uh, I'm just taking it all out. I haven't got it yet, but when it gets here, just throw, throw it in, you know. But yeah. So while you're waiting, get it already. Sure. Look at that. Nuts. And on freaking on, on this side of town on Easy Street, freaking polish the freaking rusty bars that this fool had. And then they're freaking sick on this bike. Freaking sick. And I put the pull pullbacks that were on this on here. So yeah, this is more more my flavor. I should keep these, huh? Yeah, your headlight. Yeah. So just unplug them. Oh yeah, I'm crimp. Yeah. Make plugs. Make plugs now. Yeah, make plugs now. So it's almost out. It's almost out. I gotta figure out. My dumbass don't know where the starter fucking wire is at. Um. So yeah, I'm kind of a little stuck there. Oh, you can this thing. I want to go through. Yeah, I'm a dummy. I don't know where the <laughs> starter be at. But I just need that starter plug and the whole harness comes out. And it'll be ready. Almost ready. Just got to wait for my harness to get in here and make it look all nice. Oh, what people like to call it the flea market. So where are we going? The fling market. Vintage swap meet. And then how come you all dressed up like this? What day is it today? Halloween. Yes, it is. Look at you. So what time is it? 7.09. 7.09. It's, it's a gloomy one. It should not be this dark usually, but let's see what's up. It's kind of early. I need more light. I can't see anything. No. So everyone's still setting up, but we'll point out the goods. We'll point out the goods. Because if we recorded the whole thing, it's too much good stuff. So oh my I'm sold. Yeah. It's not in Cali, but. <laughs> Morning. Wow. <laughs> oh, lamb chop. Remember? Oh, yeah. You want it? See, like all the dogs can get the back. Oh, my God. Yeah. I'll go look at the guys. <laughs> Selling point right here. Selling point right here. Just slap a patch on it. <laughs> oh, dude, look at this sister. Okay, that's sick. Face reveal. This is us. I might as well me. Imagine that on the back of a denim jacket though. I think it is. Cool. <laughs> there it is. Remember I told you I've been looking for pink ones? They're for sure too small. Yeah. And they're, um... Pointy toe. Pointy toe, so. It just fell. Wow. So the camera fell, but it started recording, mm -hmm. so let's just pretend like we meant to. See? Mm. That's how it's happened. Oh, look at this. 
This is cute. Oh, but they didn't even roll with no one. It has a cup holder. Spooky 24-7, huh? <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, that's brother. Oh, look at the gas thingy. Cool. Oh, damn. Oh, that's like a straight up 3D skull. And now for the walk and talk video that nobody asked for. Um, I'm gonna start off by saying don't mind the mess in the garage again because we just took down all the Halloween stuff, putting up Christmas stuff. Yikesies. Back to this. I'm not gonna do the work and add like how the bike used to look and stuff. Like if you don't know what the bike looked like before now, that means you didn't watch the first video, which means you're watching this out of order. What are you doing? Watch that one first. This is how the bike sits as of now. It was already six over, but I went ahead and used the cheat code right here. Yeah, y'all are probably tripping out if you don't know what this is. This right here is a five inch extension cap for a 39 millimeter front end. This is the cheat code, y'all. Like, if you see all these like chopular fools where they're like Evo sporties looking all long and stuff and like they don't respond to your comments when you ask them like, oh, how many over is it? Or if they tell you how many over it is, like, oh, it's 10 over or whatever. When you ask like, oh, where'd you get the tubes from? If they stop responding, it's probably because they have these extension caps and we're not gatekeepers here. You know, we're not about that. All right, I'm gonna make it simple for y'all. You can go online and look up, I think, two, three, four, or five inch uh, extension caps for 39 millimeter front ends only. I don't think they do this for anything else. So that is exactly why the Evo is like the, the total go-to, which is the reason why I got it, is because I just wanted something that was super simple to style and just easily accessible parts and stuff. So yeah, this was originally a six over front end already, and I ordered the five inch caps. So yeah, technically it's 11 over, but 11 over just doesn't sound good. Like, you know how it's like eight over or don't come over, 10 over or don't come over, you know, but 11 over, like it just don't work. So yeah, let's just call it 10 over. Um, it looks sick. I think it looks sick. Took off the front brake. Clearly I cleaned the motor, as you can see here. I'm not gonna go into detail with like what, like, you know, chemicals or like products and like brushes and tools I use. I just cleaned it. Oh, cleaned the air filter too. I mean, it ain't that crazy. It's just cool to know what it looked like and how it looks now. But like, it, this is not amazing whatsoever of like what I did, but it looks sick. Um, clean the wheels too. I mean, I'm telling you again, if you haven't seen the video of how this looked, you guys are probably like, what the hell is this dude doing walking around a freaking stock bike? Um, yeah, this too, or this, these two, the forks. Um, all I did was use like, uh, I think I started with wet sanding it with like um, steel wool on the forks. And then, yeah, so I started doing these with steel wool and like Windex and stuff. Then I moved it straight up to 1000 grit, then 1500 grit, then 2K, and then uh, polished it out. So like, yup, they look pretty slick. Um, <laughs> this is the fender that came on it. I think it looks sick. I'd like to get the tank done like that sometime. Uh, with this, all I did was use some like polishing compound and buffed it out. So like bring it to life a bit. Again, like I mentioned, brought as much as I could back from the chrome. Polished up as much of the metal as I could. Like that's like polishable risers off Mark's uh, 883. And then these were the bars that were originally on the Cheetah bike. Now the cheetah, but yeah, y'all seen, seen the video. This is another super stupid thing I did that like is me per se, but uh, yeah, the paint on the tank is clearly beat, but it was hella foggy. So I like did a whole step process to like buff it out to where it's like hella glossy. So yeah, there's chips and rust, but like, damn. I don't know, I think it looks sick. I Like say I want to get like the airbrushing done on the, uh, on the tank to match the fender. I'll leave all the chips. I really don't care. Like, or I told all my homies this, like, I just want a motorcycle. I could ride with my girlfriend. That's it. This ain't a cool guy bike. This ain't no chopper. It's not gonna be. Suspension, seat, all that. Yeah, this scored for 10 bucks at the swap meet. Y'all probably seen that if you're following with the videos. She's digging it. She could always lean back on that and kick it. This is a seat that came on it that was like temporary, but I 
finalized it and bolted these together and actually mounted them on right so now this is like a couple years ago but got this uh saddlebag for free at the swap meet because one side was burnt and the other side was perfect i'm using the perfect side so we got luggage uh this is another neat thing i did uh so because these bars are stupid short because i cut all my bars i always cut my bars on on the iron head every bars i run i cut them so when i threw these on you know everything fit the control fit the grip fit but like the clutch lever on this thing, oh my god, let me, I mean, y'all know how the levers look on these freaking uh, Evos and stuff, right? So what I did is I cut and shaped it down and painted it so it's like a little stubby. I don't know, this is like a quote-unquote budget makeover. I got a little $17 mirror here from Sporty Parts. A new clutch cable too, extended. I had to change that out as well. What else did I do? I think that's about it. Oh, this is another thing that sold me on it. It has the crazy Frank like Fender add-on. Like I would always have wanted to do that or add that, but I'm not gonna, I'm, I, first of all, I suck at welding. Second of all, I'm not gonna go out of my way to do all that. The Cheetah bike is already like however it is. So it's cool that this already came like that. Yeah, that there's not much else to it. Um, I'm only filming this in the garage at night just cause I was literally chopping out the video and I'm like, oh snap. The video ends here and they ain't, they don't know nothing about the bike so there it is fun fact i actually ordered these five inch caps literally i think a week before i even thought about picking this up so literally the next day or a day or two after picking this up threw them on and <laughs> last but not least this is not the lean my friends you'd think with a 11 over it'd have more lean but we are currently sitting on two planks of wood, so don't worry, the lean is mean. Trust, well, trust. Uh, you'll see it in action at some point. Yeah, that's all, folks. <laughs> Hear no Evo, see no Evo. I can finally afford an Evo, so here it is. 1200, five, year, five years. Why am I still talking? Dry shit. Where are we going? Picnic. Let's do this. I'll take it. I would take it. All right, picnic essentials. We got the stuff? Yeah. Everything? Look at you. Yeah. All right, now we start packing. You already know what time it is. <laughs> With your vintage little shirt, where'd you get that? Goodwill. Yeah, how much? Four dollars. Mm -hmm. Brand new. Oh, and actually this too. Where'd you get this picnic basket with everything? My mom bought it at a yard sale, brand new. How much? Two dollars. Two dollars and it came with all that. Not the food, of course. But yeah, it's a steal, it's a deal, and it's real. And it came with this in there too, so. Uh, before this thing topples over and just ruins my day and makes hers, I'm gonna go ahead and find like a rock or something to put under the kickstand. I could have easily parked right here, but I mean, why? <laughs> All right, let's get this thing going. Right here. This shall do before it tips over. Oh, that is beautiful. Look at you. I mean, the bike adds, but it's not about the bike. It's about you. There we go. Safety first. Not much to really vlog here. We're just gonna enjoy the moment. <laughs> All right, so this is the bag. That's the leftover crackers. Wine bottle opener and all that. <laughs> oh, damn, it's, oh, snap. It's the brand, I thought like, 
No, okay, that's expensive. $2 though. $2. $2. Um, some diet green tea. Yeah, because I got a lot more for you. This is her choice right here, salt and vinegar. You didn't strike me as a salt and vinegar type until you said it the first time. I love it. That's a trip. And then my dessert choice right here. Some sour belts. Oh yeah, of course we had to document this for sure. We have a giant, we have a ton of photo albums. Um, crackers, ready to go. We got our little cups. Oh, damn, these are glass? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, so we're gonna Napkins. pour up. Napkins that it came with too. And it came with this. Oh yeah, it came with a Tupperware thing too. We got our uh, charcuterie sampler. And then this is the cheese that she likes. Port wine cheese. It's a cold pack. Just open, ready to spread. But yeah, this is a nice little park here. You're, 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 they're probably like, I'm trying to see the park, not the bike. Yeah, nice little park here in Fullerton. It's called Hillcrest Park. Look at her go. Yeah, I mean, I need to just stop this. I'm ruining the moment. Okay, she's taking the, <laughs> the grass out of her butt. Uh, we're gonna go put all this stuff away now.